Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. My president, my main man, DJ T, Mr. Tom Traveler himself. What up, people? What up, people? Oh, man. Oh, man. Your uh, political talking heads are currently having a conniption. You're going to have to uh, <laughs> bear with them <laughs> as they pull this wedgie. <laughs> they pull their, penny, their panties out of that wedgie that it's in right now. <laughs> oh, this is too funny. I'm having too much fun with this. Uh, Will Chamberlain is currently having a conniption. Uh, I don't think Cernovich is too happy right now. <laughs> and everybody is, is ready. I'm not going to say everybody, but I just got off uh, a couple of minutes watching uh, Will Chamberlain's Periscope. Not Wilt, Will. And uh, he's ready to, uh, he, he has said that Trump can't win the election. That speech Trump just gave is going to cost him the election next year. All is lost. It's time to put our chips on Pence. Yo, where do y'all get these people from? <laughs> Yo. I'm just the new guy here. And I'm just observing, it, and it's just like, damn, like, like th th these are the people y'all gotta like, <laughs> y'all gotta depend on for, for political opinions and and feedback. I feel bad, white people. I feel bad, but Hotep Jesus has your back. I'm not gonna let them do this to our president. First of all, I just like to say if you've ever tuned in, the Hotep's been told you every Thursday. You would already, you would already know that I already said we ain't getting the wall. <laughs> I've said this, I've said this plenty of times. Now you know we not getting that wall, right? <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you why. And a lot of why we getting the wall? Be, I'm a, a lot of people are gonna be upset at this, but we basically just signed an agreement which goes against the wall. We signed the revised NAFTA, which is the USMCA. You know what I mean? And, and that's basically a trade agreement between Mexico and Canada, which is going to bring us closer to some sort of North American union. So you got a European union, which some people wanted a Brexit from. Right? Mm -hmm. Not to be confused with Blexit. <laughs> <laughs> some people wanted a Brexit from. Right? So we're getting the same thing. This is another globalist plot. So chances of our getting our wall now have diminished. And I'm not going to blame Trump for this because we know this is a globalist plot over their oil. You know, they want to get that oil money. They love that oil money. You know, they trying to get that pipeline yeah. and they're going to get it. But, uh, you know, that that wall, after I saw that deal go through, I'm like, damn, we ain't getting no wall. <laughs> You know what I was thinking, man? Maybe he'll do pull some dope fiend shit and say, put the wall on Mexico's southern border. Because you know what I mean? He'll be like, hey, yeah, we got it. That's it. Then you still get your North American. You know what I mean? You just you separate North America and South. And South. We, got a, yeah, we got a better chance of getting a Mexican southern border than we got a Mexican. <laughs> You're absolutely right about that. <laughs> Cause there is gonna be hot too when you come out this whole thing with no wool. What happened to our wool? Hotep's been told you. Um, a lot of people have put too much faith in Trump. They have said that, or or they perceive Trump to have more power than he actually has. Because he's commander in chief. This is a naive bunch to believe that Trump can just do whatever he wants without repercussions, without the man behind the curtain pulling some strings. I feel like 
one of the few smart people here. I know there's tons of us out there and most of you are brilliant. I believe I have a brilliant following. Um, somebody just said he pulled a high ground maneuver. I believe he pulled a high ground maneuver too. There are people right now not being paid. We saw what happened at LaGuardia airport. And I think that, um, it was a good move today. I think that was the right move to open the government up temporarily at day 35 and make sure people got paid. I don't understand how people can say that Trump is wrong and he should have held people ransom for the wall or not to look weak. That's what Will Chamberlain said. He said, this has nothing to do with the wall. This has everything to do with caving to the left. This is weakness. Hotep Jesus had low expectations for a Trump presidency. Trump winning was the win. If you expected anything more, you're a fool. Trump in office is the win. Anything we get outside of that, it's just the cherry on top. It's just a bonus, people. Just be happy with that. What you're supposed to do is when your guy's in office, that's when the people got to do the work. The people got to get behind the president. The people got to put pressure on the lawmakers. People don't put pressure on the lawmakers. People are putting pressure on other people on Twitter. Y'all are arguing on Twitter. That's what y'all do. Y'all not putting pressure on the lawmakers. Y'all not coming with, up with ideas for policies, etc., etc. That's right. Trump got people paid. He's a hero. He's a hero. To the people that haven't been paid for the past 35 days, they should say, thank you, Trump. You got me paid. You were the bigger man in this situation. You were the bigger man in this situation. The laws that govern us happen at the municipal, county, and state level. The federal, I think Trump's done a great job. He stopped the transgender thing from the military. He's working on the wall. Black community got some money out of it. How much did we get? Like a hundred billion or something like that. Right? Somebody correct that number for me if I'm wrong. But he just issued an executive order to give black people money. I'm happy. My black president. <laughs> the first, you know, he, he he further cemented his legacy as the first as the the, the greatest black president. You know, uh, he signed in this bipartisan bill on this. I guess it's called the First Step. First Step. You know, prison First reform. Um, you know, I follow a couple uh, Instagram pages that, like, uh, you know, a couple of cats that got out of jail, and you know, they they talk about that jail stuff. You know what I mean? But they 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 put they they put that video up. It was like, man, this is good for the felons, man. I, I think it gives it's going to give people a second chance. That's what he was saying in his little speech. You know, um, what kills me is, where was, well, first, let's get to this. And we'll, then we got to talk about Barry and why this wasn't done before. All right. Um, first of all, let's, let's just cover what it does, what this first step does. Basically, what it's doing is supposed to give like a second chance to nonviolent offenders. So basically drug dealers who've never hurt anybody, never killed anybody. You know what I mean? So they're supposed to come home under a job training program and be under like house arrest or whatever. That's a win. That's a win. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's a really big win for Americans, for black people. Um, you know, black people, especially they've been talking about, oh, mass incarceration, mass incarceration. He just undid what your family that you wanted to vote for in the 2016 elections installed. You see, the Clintons locked those people up and Trump freed them. 
Trump been freeing black people all year. Obama ain't do nothing for black people. A couple of programs. My Brother's Keeper was a good one. I'm going to say nothing, maybe. There's some stuff. But black people ride with him. Y'all got to ride with Donnie. Y'all got to ride with Donnie. Yes, it's a lack of their character. I believe what we need to do as the people is. We need to turn the people that turn on Trump into a laughing stock. We need to turn them into a joke. We need to tune them off. We need to stop supporting these people because they are either deceiving us or they are too ignorant to lead us. Somebody said all the conservatives ditching Trump are as enslaved to the news cycle as people glued to CNN. Absolutely. Absolutely. Over here, Hotep Jesus is, just like Lisa said, we riding the MAGA train till the wheels fall off. We riding this thing whether we get a wall or not. It'd be nice to get a wall, but I don't think we getting one. I'm rooting for one, but I don't think we getting one. See, I don't get my hopes up like some of these fools. The win is Trump in office. His body in office is our win. Anything else is a bonus. His face on the screen that irritates the left. Him being there and getting in the way is the win. Him negotiating with China is the win. Him negotiating with Korea is the win. He is creating peace be between nations and he finds something to get mad about. <laughs> Got my man Dennis Rodman crying on national TV. <laughs> right? There was something unprecedented, unparalleled, never before seen. We got him and Kim Jong-un <laughs> eating ramen noodles in, 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 in Korea. It was in Korea, right? Yeah. Trump gangster, man. <laughs> Trump's a gangster. I love it. I love it. Whether Trump decides to declare a state of emergency in three weeks or he caves to the left, my support for Trump will not waver. Why? One, because I'm just a loyal person. Two, because I'm not a fool. Because I'm not a fool. Somebody said Trump doesn't need the wall. If he accomplished North Korea in trade, he's won. I agree.